I'm Max Whitlock. What a story for this young man. I'm a men's artistic gymnast. And here he is with a nailed dismount. That is a fantastic effort. I'm an Olympic medalist, a British and European champion. And now he is a world champion on pommel horse. Welcome to my house. I'm going to show you a few of my medals and talk about the year that I've had. Um, to be honest, it feels crazy, you know, to be home uh, and sitting here, you know, with these medals behind me. It feels unbelievable. You know, it's been crazy, and uh, you know, it's been it's been a long journey, all these results, and uh, a lot of hard work. So, you know, to see them all arranged like that, um, I don't see them often you know, like that all together, and uh, it just shows to me that all the hard work has paid off. So I post a lot on Instagram, so I thought we can have a look through the year and uh, see what I've been up to and see how the year's gone. I love doing that, things outside of the gym and uh, this was a photo shoot that I'd done, which was which was absolutely brilliant. We produced a, a great video for it and uh, you know a lot a lot of the time you know it's a lot of interviews and uh, and photo shoots like this and uh, it it's great fun and I, I really really enjoy doing them. We do a lot of training camps up at Lillyshaw, so it's good for us boys to sort of catch up and train together before the major championships coming up. So we do a few weeks before every competition there, so we can sort of be together as a team and uh, prepare up there together. So this fight obviously shows who was selected to represent Team GB at the World Championships. And uh, you know, every build up is a long build up and uh, to go and be selected to represent that your country is an amazing feeling. Personally, you know, there was pressure on me because the beginning of the year was a struggle. You know, glandular fever sort of really took it out of me for the Europeans and that didn't really go to plan. At first, you know, it was tough because I didn't know what it was. I, I remember saying to my mum and dad that I literally felt the fittest that I've ever been. So I was, you know, I was really, really ready for Europeans and uh, I felt good. For going from that level and then dropping completely to not making a routine was, was horrible. When I found out I got blood tests back, it was glandular fever. It was all about resting up, getting back into it. And I was, I was so motivated going in and going, doing this build up up to the World Championships that it was about, you know, really going for it for me. And this this photo is uh, you know, a very important photo. Our priority going into the competition was to qualify for Rio and uh, this shows that we, you know, after our qualification results and uh, achievements, we, we did that and we did our job and uh, from then on it was, you know, a big weight off our shoulders. So it's a photo of our girls winning the, uh, their team medal. You know, it's quite a close group of the girls and the boys and, uh, you know, to see those win those medals before us the day before it was it was brilliant and um, to be honest I think it sort of inspired us to go on the next day and try and try and do a similar job. So this was the last routine of the team final, my floor routine. Um, Dan Purvis and Christian both gone up and done a brilliant routine to start with and uh, sort of it was my job to do the same and uh, the pressure was obviously on. It's a tough competition because you're not just competing for yourself, you compete for the other guys as well. Um, and actually this was probably the the cleanest routine that I've actually ever ever done in training or in any competition. At that point when the audience erupted and uh, <laughs> the team was shouting and going mental was 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 a was a feeling you don't get often. And uh, to do it in front of a home crowd, in front of an atmosphere like that which was unbelievable and helped us get through our routines the way we did throughout that whole competition every piece every competitor well, yeah unbelievable so uh on the day of the floor and pommel horse final um my main focus was obviously on the floor first that was the first one coming up i went into the warm-up gym with scott and uh instead of just you know warming up the floor and going to compete on the floor for me it doesn't that doesn't help you know it just makes it a bigger thing i i went in i warmed up Parallel bars, I warmed up the vault and then warmed up floor and then went out and uh, marched out and done that piece. What a story for Max Whitlock here on floor. He's got a silver. Time to refocus because Pommel Horse is next for him. Now come back 
you know, it wasn't a lot of time to celebrate after that silver medal and um, it was straight back onto the floor for me. You know, I was warming up floor, warming up pummel. Well, he already has a silver to his name today. He got a silver in the team final as well. Is this his golden moment? So obviously, this was the, the moment where I had to step up and in the pummel horse final. Um, obviously, nerves were, were going a bit crazy right now. I didn't know anything that had gone on. I don't like looking at the scores or anyone who's competed before me. And Scott knows that as well. Um, and he said to me, so, so, so what do you want to do? We're talking about what routine we want to do and what we want to go for. And um, it's quite a long discussion. And uh, we decided to up it by one tenth. One tenth deduction wise isn't a lot. You know, it can be a flicker of the toe, but on your start score, it adds a massive risk. Max Whitlock here with his 20th routine of these world championships. This here was the point where me and Scott tried to add in that extra temp. So uh, coming out of that skill felt, felt good, knowing that it was a different one to what we planned originally. That was a big skill. That was my second um, G element, which is one of the hardest you can get on the pommel horse. Um, this was this feeling was unbelievable. This was when sort of I knew and I was proud and I, I was you know very very relieved that I'd, I'd made that routine. Then I looked up, you know, saw Lewis's score and score, he scored obviously a massive 16, and I I knew it was going to be close. When all sort of the emotions hit you and all that hard work, it's literally a feeling you can't explain. You just knew it had paid off and uh, sort of where I felt like that I'd done it and I'd become a world champion, which was absolutely crazy. So after the world championship, it was quite hectic, very busy, and uh, this is just one of the photos of nearly the 30 interviews that I'd done in that day. And, uh, you know, it's brilliant for us just to get our sport out there even more. So, uh, yeah, there's been talk about a move coming from me, the Whitlock, and uh, it's something that I really, really want to achieve. I want to get my name in the code of points for gymnastics, and obviously the dream would be to get it on the pommel horse. There's been a lot of hard work and a, a lot of training going into it, and um, it is important to keep the new skills secret, yes. Uh, but, you know, in the gym, you know, everyone gets involved, and uh, it's just about not putting it up on the internet. I haven't had loads of time to practice it at the moment, but uh, hopefully sometime in the future it, it can be seen. There's a lot of people I need to thank, to be honest. You know, obviously I spoke, I spoke about Scott a lot. You know, he has been absolutely vital to get me to where I am today. Um, you know, my family, uh, my girlfriend. It is great to be a part of British Gymnastics. You know, we're in a very good place right now. And the whole, you know, the whole team around me, the teammates and everyone. And my sponsors, uh, you know, the partnerships that I'm with now are brilliant. So the support that I've had, you know, for these four years has been incredible. and. Uh, Hopefully it can continue.